Hello everybody, we're going to be looking a little bit at Buckingham Palace today. I came across this stamp a little while ago and I just looked at it and I thought, I don't remember Buckingham Palace looking quite like that. I didn't even really know where we were looking, you know, like, anyway, I just didn't. And I didn't really think about it, but you know, when you wake up and so forth like that, you look at things differently, maybe you see different things, maybe you see more things, things you didn't see before. That's what happens. Anyway, there's a date on there. It says that it was starting to be built in 1703. It looks like it took two years to be built. Wow, absolutely amazing. This building is absolutely enormous. We're in rags and carts. Do you remember a story, Dick Turpin? One of them obviously is a TV program, but Dick Turpin, right? See what we've got? We've got little pop-pop guns. We're in coaches, wooden coaches. We're either walking or we're on horses. We seem to be jumping over a gate, but stage coaches. You know, that's it. The little round wheels, little pop pop guns. There you go, nothing high tech. And rah rah rah. Yet yeah, we're building things like that. Again, look, soldiers, everybody's on foot. There's no carriages, no roads, but we've got buildings like that. And they built these buildings. And then they built the back of it like that. Like that. They built the back of the building like that. Anyway, there was, that was a building in London. That was a ceiling in Buckingham Palace. That's what it looks like now. And I was thinking, yeah, but that's just so different to that. Anyway, the white one, the arch in front here, that's Marble Arch. And do you know something? When Queen Victoria built the front on Buckingham Palace, they moved this, they moved this to where it is now. They managed to move that out the way. I just, none of this adds up, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's a bit of the information that they're um, giving us, basically, who had the land and then... I think a house got built, then another one, and then, you know, eventually how um, Queen Victoria then obviously um, moves in and she's the one that puts the front on the front of Buckingham Palace. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful it was. If that, if that picture's correct. Anyway, so, you know, me looking around, so there's 1845, it still looked like that, and there's that marble arch which they moved, and that's just incredible. But houses in the 1700s, look at it, big houses, look very refined, got chimneys, they knew what they were doing, they knew how to build. No, well, that's got a sort of road, I think, but no real roads, or, you know, London looking like that in 1841, wow, with that great big cathedral there. That's the Tower of London, but look, it's still a, quite a magnificent building, not a very nice place. Um, look at that. Look at that, 1845. Look at the buildings. Look at that. St Paul's Cathedral. Just look at it. What are we in? Horses and carts, no proper roads. But anyway, it's supposed to be London in... Um, before the Great Fire in 1666. Look at the houses. Oh, 1870. We've now built that. We've got this. But look how big Dragon is. Look at the sails. Does this look all... No, but we've got buildings like this. Anyway, I was trying to just look up more information. That's how I found out that Queen Victoria um, built the front of the, of the Buckingham Palace on. And there's Marble Arch in front there. They moved this whole thing. They moved it. Wow. Look, no pavements, no roads, just more like a dirt road. Got all the railings. But still no... Anyway, so... As we move on, waiting for the pictures to catch up. Yeah, I hope you don't hear my dog snoring in the background. She really annoys me. Anyway, look at that. They're inside. Look how lovely it is. That's the inner bit. But that's what London looked like. Look, that was the Jubilee. They're out on the streets. Look at the buildings. Just look at these buildings. 
whatever they are. So, it's got a date of 1850 there, but that's what it looked like when it was being built. That's the earlier version of it. Then there's that, and it's supposed to have been that one. Doesn't that look beautiful? That looks like one era, doesn't it? And that looks like another one, even though there's pillars in there. Now there's the marble arch in one of the paintings, pictures, which they had to move. Wow. Oh, that one's showing pavements. Do we look high tech? I don't think so. Anyway, there's a little bit of information that they're giving, which they're saying is what happened when Queen Victoria moved in, but I just don't believe any of it. I don't know what to believe because they're showing the pictures of it without the front on it, and yet, how did they? I'm going to show you, I just don't believe it. Anyway, Wikipedia, basically again here saying that when Queen Victoria moved in, um, she built the East Wing, it was built in 1847. So she built it onto this, so it came out even further. It's a bit more information there if you believe it. Right, my piece de resistance. Now, they were obviously doing some work here, okay? Renovating, painting, whatever they were doing. Because this says the face of Buckingham Palace celebrates its 100th birthday. I don't know when this picture was taken. I can't tell you if the people are Queen Victoria's time and these are the cranes they needed to build that. I didn't find much information on it, but it says celebrates 100th birthday. Maybe that's the construction of it. So, you telling me that Queen Victoria had these? Wow. You don't see anything like that in her time. What I realise is, because there's three legs to each crane, there's five cranes at the front, wondering if these people are actually in proportion as per usual but never mind we're not going to look into that right now that's a picture showing they must have been doing some work on it afterwards but look at the cranes it takes look at it and you think they wouldn't have you know the ceilings and things these people built and the paintings they put on them they're just you know, in these older buildings, they're absolutely magnificent. I mean, how did we do it? Oh yes, but we managed to be able to build that without cranes. How, who built that? How did they build that? How did they build all this? You would have needed something like cranes. You would have needed that. How did they get that? How did they build that? And you notice the middle bit almost looks older. That bit looks older. It might just be the colouring, but it just looks older. Anyway, that's what it looks like now. But look how many cranes. So how did they build? We look like this. No high tech here. They're putting us in. Look what they're putting us in. Wigs. Going to see ships which aren't looking high tech. 
little bit of industry there, but I'm not sure what that one's for. Might be a later time, you know, they stick things in, but we can paint ceilings like this. We can do all this. Go for a pint. But look like this. But build this. So, with rags and pop pop guns and you know, the rest of the things, they're able to build ceilings like that and paintings and look at that 1834 neo gothic redesign of Westminster. The lines, I wonder what all that means. It's at a point of something, isn't it? It is a big statue. Again, you know, how much would it have cost to have made it and put it there? I thought that one was quite funny. <laughs> I wasn't looking for that one, it was just on there. Mm. Yes. Anyway. I doesn't say when, but it's old, isn't it? Look at that. Short history of the pavilion. Royal pavilion, look at that. But the houses are like that. The rows and rows of them with these gardens. And when you look at it, It's very similar to that one, isn't it? Look at them. Yeah, maybe they're a bit different. And then of course, even when you think of this, oh my goodness, what is all this? There's just so many issues and problems and lies and... Hello Martin! Mwah. Lovely Martin, he's a friend of mine. Anyway, thanks for watching back on with the video. It's so hard to know when to stop, but because it doesn't add up, these, so we've, we've done like that, there's the pavilion, then you've got the, the dome pavilion, you've got this regency part, okay, these are regency houses in Hove and going into Brighton, but more in Hove than Brighton. But I mean, look at these things. There's rows and rows of these houses. Rows of them. Look, even with shapes. Look at them. Look at them, they're magnificent. I mean... Yeah. One of those, look, all these structures and, I mean, I looked it up, they're supposed to have been built in the 1820s. It doesn't add up, does it? I mean, look at the size of it, one, two, three, there's four floors there. Oh, will we ever know the truth? I mean, look at these things. Anyway, now we're going back on with the video. I really, really think that we moved in. Anyway, we moved in on the lot. So, yeah, it, it is, it does, this, it doesn't look so different from that, but it does from this. These look a different colour to that. Anyway, you can see how much they've changed it here from those pictures and what these would have had on it. They would have had those statues, beautiful statues. These here are statues on the top which they've taken off. Anyway, if you actually look at this whole thing, I'm not saying she built a half, but that does go along there a bit. It's 
the same as that one, but if you look across there, Queen Victoria built nearly half a palace extra in that case then, if you want to believe that one. She built nearly half a palace. It only took her a couple of years. It's amazing, isn't it? Only took her a couple of years to build half a palace on like that. It takes years to make things today. You know, the dome didn't go up in, a, in five minutes, did it? You know, these things they make, they didn't go up in five minutes. It took masses and masses of planning. And then months and months and months and months, sometimes years to make these things. Yet yeah, she was able to put half a palace up without any mention of cranes and look at those look just wow just look at it yeah they don't look victorian i thought i'd better look up when cranes first sort of i don't know it could have been anyway they said the sixth century and then they are showing pictures like this for 1700s quite amazed uh, there you go so uh, 18 1700s you get the odd picture of a crane and then yeah that one's like um, 1900s I put cranes in and that's what it's bringing up there still don't see how they built the buildings with some of these though. I mean they were in mighty great cranes yeah pictures of more cranes and it was 1913 so it wasn't them building it, it was just whatever they were doing to it, but they weren't building it. There. They weren't building it, they were sorting it out. Anyway, look at all that scaffolding in 1913 and the cranes in 1913. Wow, but it wasn't in 18 you know, uh, whenever Queen Victoria moved in. How did they do it then? I'm sorry, they would not have had things like this then. There's just no way. And look how many cranes it takes to do anything. All that scaffolding. Imagine how many people would have had to have worked on that then. For those cranes, there's 10 cranes. So nothing's as it seems to be, does it? I, I couldn't find much information really, just a picture. It's like when you go to try and find out all this stuff, there's only just a little bit. You can't, you know, when you put things in, you type things in the header bar for information, you think you'd find it, but you don't. You have to hunt for this stuff. I mean, just look at this building, just look at it. Yeah, and all those cranes. Yeah, we could build all those in wooden when we were in wooden carts. But have buildings like that. And Queen Victoria had to build that because the first bit wasn't big enough for her and her family. She needed more room. I mean, even that, it looks absolutely enormous, doesn't it? Absolutely enormous. Anyway, I mean, that is magnificent. Just, I mean, wouldn't you have loved to have seen it like that? Anyway, yeah, there it is from the front. Another picture. There's the kind of water. The water's a lot further away. Anyway, that's the back of the house. Sorry, back of the palace, should I say. And, um, yeah, it just looks so different at the back than it does at the front. But I suppose taking that tower thing away changes it, doesn't it? And they've taken off all the uh, pit, uh, statues, although there aren't statues at the back, but I had some pictures on here, I'm not sure where they are. They had, there were statues on it. It does look quite plain, doesn't it? It doesn't look the era that it's come from now. It just looks Victorian now. But not that way, and not the pillars. There we go. Anyway, so, what it is, is the first part of this floor is almost underground. You see, this is it's covering up the windows. So, one, two, 
one, two, and they've taken it off there. And they've also taken off these things that go on the ends and something in between, whatever that is. There are chimneys and there's fa facade. All that's gone. I mean, but there, doesn't it look beautiful? It just looks so beautiful there. It doesn't, it looks quite plain here. Obviously, these were obviously just to make it look more whatever, beautiful, whichever one. But it sort of cooks quite different, doesn't it, by taking this tower off here and. Yeah, I wonder why they did that. I mean, that would have been stone, and I can't imagine that this would have fallen down. But anyway, they've done all this before we've noticed what they've done and what they were doing. It just looks, it just looks plain and Victorian, -y, doesn't it? But it's definitely the ground is definitely higher than there. I mean, you can see that this wall now goes over these windows, so. I don't understand how, the, well yeah, that's on a platform there, so they've covered it up, it's higher, the ground's higher. So please, something is just so wrong, so, so wrong. There's no way we could have been building that in 1700. Do you think Queen Victoria could have really built this? I mean, look at all this technology. No, do you see it anywhere? I was so shocked when I found that picture because it's there's a few things that are missing, right? There's never any blue sky, never any definition with clouds. They never ever point at the sun. They never ever point at the sea. And um, never any showing us cranes or any kind of infrastructure to build the infrastructure, only that these enormous great buildings are there. Anyway... I hope that you have enjoyed that and seen that you know Buckingham Palace was beautiful before and I can't see why Queen Victoria wanted to build half a palace on because she had so many family. I mean there must have been like a town in there then with all her family living in there or having bits of it as houses. There'd have been, there'd have been, like, a, there'd have been like a small village living there. Um, yeah, I'd love to know more if anybody knows more about this. Anyway, the narrative is not what we've been told. I'm sorry, people in the 1700s, we've got dirt track roads, uh, would not have built this or did those ceilings. They acquired it. But again, we don't know how much of this history they've been manipulated and changed or, or added. We don't know anymore. Like my last video, they flipped Hillary's face round, flipped it. Nobody noticed you need to do your own homework because when you do you see something else anyway thanks for watching leave your comments below